Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to share with you a do-it-yourself inexpensive holiday gift idea. And I have a couple of these that I want to share with you. So I'm going to try my best to put them out um, with tutorials. Otherwise, if it's you know super easy, I'll just explain it verbally. But here I am sharing with you a spa gift. And I know that that's always something that women and men like um, and it's easy to purchase just over-the-counter you know spa gift sets but this is something that's personal and it's customized to the recipient so I wanted to go ahead and make one um, for a couple of my co-workers and I think they'll like them so um, this is obviously packaged up because I you know thought oh hey I can do a tutorial since I have to make several but I am going to go ahead and do one with you guys so So this is how this one looks let's let's go ahead and make another one all right first we're going to start out with the bath salts which are the easiest to make and what I did was I had a Hobby Lobby um, gift set and it came in the set of four and what I did was spray paint them obviously I didn't use my glove on the silver one but I spray painted them in different designs so I have that gold one over there and then I have the silver one and I did a white one I just use masking tape taped off everything that I didn't want to be sprayed and then I gave it a couple coats of spray paint that way you can do your own design these are cork um, plastic bottles idealistically when you're doing bath salts you want to use a seal jar because it can get hard it can harden over time with the moisture um, but you can also seal wrap this in saran wrap or I'm going to shove some uh, cotton in there to kind of keep some of the moisture out but I will tell my recipients that they need to use it you know that week or the next week so that they it won't dry out and they don't have to scrape out their bath salts but idealistically you want to use like a mason jar or a small mason jar or something with a tight lid on it seal tight um, so this is what I did for that and then um, so that's going to be we're going to use the silver and then we're just going to quick make the bath salts which are super easy and inexpensive you're going to need some Epsom salt I get this from Walmart it's a couple a couple dollars and then you're going to need you know something to mix it in using an old cool whip bowl you're going to need a whisk you're going to need some ex um, essential oils a couple of drops of essential oil and if you're planning on coloring your Epsom salt you'll need um, food dye Just a half cup and then half of this about I'm using three-fourths cup of Epsom salt for this little container that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm going to use essential oil. And then I'm going to see how it smells. You want to stir this really well, like over stir, so that you can not, one, not have clumps, but every bit of that salt gets some of that essential oil. So I stir it in real good and I can smell it. I'm going to add one two three four five left two three four five my i'm going to continue to keep stirring and then i'll be back okay that's nice and fragrant all of it is uh mixed well so i'm going to take my food coloring and then this time i'm just going to use the red one and literally you just need one dot one dot goes a long way all right so i'm going to add one drop now in the lid now watch how that drop transforms the salt now you guys know I love shabby colors I wish I can tell this is this is pretty um it's pretty pink I'm 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 gonna leave it this color but of course you know you can add more um, I'll just go ahead and show you guys but you know what well darn it I didn't mean to drop two but you know I love my shabby colors so I guess this is going to be red instead of pink since I squeezed too heavily all right that's not bad at all um, so I, it's not showing how red it is on the camera but it's a uh, pretty heavy like a peppermint um, color red okay so what you want to do now is just pour now on the yellow one on the gold one the one that I did earlier I did two tones so I left out partitioned some of this off so it can stay white and then I just alternated the color so it can have a layered effect um, 
So that's what I did with that one. And then I'm just going to just my little just my little makeshift uh, funnel. So I just want to funnel this inside this bottle. Perfect. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the cotton and put it at the top. This is just like the inside of the pillow fluff. So you can use cotton balls or what have you, but I just want to push it in there and then I'm going to put my cork on top. See? It's sealed as best as I can do it. That's it for the bath salt. Let's go over and make the bath bombs. All right, to make the bath bombs, and they are super, super fragrant, and they explode right when you get in, the, put them in the tub, and I love them. I've been using them. I have been using them so much. Look how much, I, look, I've made several of these. So they are um, faux lush bath bombs, and I'm sure you will love this recipe. So you need, um, and as we go, I'm going to put it in here so I can move the stuff out the way. Of course, you need a mixing bowl for the dry ingredients, and you need a bowl for the wet ingredients. Okay, I hope you guys can see. So just listen to my voice. All right, so you need baking soda, and I'm going to put it in here. Citric acid, and this is the citric acid that I use. I'm almost out of it. I get it from Amazon. I will put the link and this recipe, um, a link below where you can get this recipe so that you don't have to sit and write, write this down. All right, so we need to add the, oops, here we go, citric acid, and then we need to add the Epsom salt, and we need to add the cornstarch. Right, so we take those ingredients, and we mix them up thoroughly so, they're, so that they are thoroughly combined. Okay, that is thoroughly combined. Then we're going to grab our wet ingredients, and then that um, consists of the coconut oil. You can use almond oil if you want or whatever you know kind of oil but yeah I like to use the coconut oil okay and then you'll need to add your essential oils and then you want to add some water okay? and then you want to stir that and now you want to slowly drop this mixture the liquid into the dry like by tiny little drops otherwise they clump up Trust me. And you want to constantly stir. Just like you're doing like a cake. Your arms will hurt. I just decided to share that. Alright, now that all my mixture's in there, you just want to continue to keep working this and making sure that everything is incorporated. When you feel like everything is incorporated, there are no clumps, and you take it, it feels like sand. Really soft sand or that magnetic sand that's what it feels like okay this point you want to grab your food coloring and add a few drops in here so pretty and pepperminty all right so this is what it should look like nice and incorporated you want to grab some wax paper and then a mold um, you can mold in whatever you want I'm using these ornaments from the Dollar Tree they came like those little clear ball ornaments I just use my knife and put it on the oven and just slice it in half so that I can scoop out a half circle of the mixture so all you do is you dip that in there you press it down they also have these silicone molds on, on online where you can get it, but this works fine for me. You press it in there real good, and then in your hand, you kind of squeeze it so it can fall out. Boom. Looks like a scoop of ice cream. Look at that. Gorgeous. And you want to continue to keep doing that. And then these need to sit on um, an air dry for 24 to 48 hours in order for them to be, oh, I didn't mean to scoop that, in order for them to be rock hard and gifted. So I'm going to do one more. 
you could also put these two ornaments together and make a ball but I just thought that was just too big take your time get that packed in there tight here we go all right continue to do that um, you should have eight balls eight half balls if you're doing them the same that I'm doing so do that come back and then we'll continue the rest of the tutorial okay now that you have allowed the bath bomb to dry for at least 24 hours you know 24 to 72 hours you want to make sure it's super dry and then it's hard okay um, so what I'm going to do next is use this shrink wrap I get this from the Dollar Tree it is um, very good it comes in the one large piece it's used to cover baskets for gifts but I just take this one piece and I just pick off of it for all of my projects so all you need is a little tiny square to cover this bath bomb wrap it back up and save it for your other bath bombs that you're gonna make or something different you just need this little piece all right open it up and then what I'm going to do is lay my dry bath bomb in here and then cut around cut around it you don't want it to be too uh, bulky when you dry it up it just doesn't, doesn't look doesn't look good so about that much okay so what I like to do is make this let's try to make it even What I like to do is get my heat tool ready, about 10 seconds, nice and hot. Okay. And then I'm going to put my hand over the top and kind of go around the sides to kind of get it to catch. Move it away. And I'm just hovering over the bomb to kind of get as much air out of it as I can. And then once that's all tight, I go around and clean up the edges. All right, so that seals in. You just don't want to get too close because you don't want to cook the bath bomb. But that seals in, you know, so that it can, you can have it safely secured in some type of packaging without it flaking away everywhere. And then I'm going to use these bags I got from Tuesday morning. That's that. And then I got these facial scrubbers from the Dollar Tree. They were obviously you get three different kinds for a dollar three different poofs so that will help continue our spa thing so I'm gonna take them out of this packaging and then put them into one of these bags because they match lovely and then I'm actually going to cut this extra off and use my hot glue gun on the edges there and close that up all right so so far we have our bath salts, we have our bath, our full lush bath bomb, and then we have our spa, um, our, our sponges, I forget what you call those things, facial scrubs. So now we can, I'm just going to tie a little bit of twine around this scrub or string. You can always hang a tag on here um, explaining, you know, take some rest, a little poem or something and then in the first basket that I showed you I made this box out of cardstock and I cut it so it would lift this way so I, I taped all this down so that, that that it could flip up like so so I'm going to cover that in cardstock at the end um, just the outside so it'll look more finished um, and then I'm going to add some shredded or shred. This is from the Target gift bag filler. I'm going to add this blue. These, this one's from Tuesday morning. Another thing that I did was take a little piece of corrugated board and then I tied it in a in like a uh, triangle, three pieces. I'm going to make a little riser something to rise up the back here because the bath bomb is heavier than the it's heavy this is heavy too but it, it's high enough where it'll sit sit up higher but the bath bomb kind of sinks down 
so I want to make something that will rise up in the back like so and then we'll put the furry mix on top and then the riser can sit up on top of that and then sits that and over here There we go. We have completed our very own spa for a gift and it smells so good and just very relaxing. So all I would have to do is just get some cardstock and cover the top and um, seal that in. And then I could pick some ribbon or, and, or something to put on the top of it and we're done. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Alright, last but not least is this is how I wrapped it. Now, I use this Dollar Tree uh, tool, glitter tool. As you can see, there is glitter everywhere. So I've been having a little cotton ball and I've been taking off the glitter, the excess, but I won't be using that anymore because it's everywhere. It sheds. So that's that. And um, I'll probably take that off and use another ribbon. But to finish up this gift pack, I'm going to use some tags. I got these from Tuesday morning right and I'm going to use this little uh, satin ribbon from the Dollar Tree in that turquoise color it matches that um, inside very perfectly so continuing on with that theme and I've already wrapped it up with some craft and it's covered up really nicely with the craft cardstock so bring in that color I'm gonna use some double-sided tape and some tinsel um, silver embossing powder okay I'm going to take this double sided tape, I'm going to run it right across here, I'm going to cut off the extra EK Success Fancy Scissors and I'm going to follow that line right across just like so, remove my backing and then add my silver tinsel, press in all of that, make sure it gets on there really good, done, no glitter no shedding love that so I'm going to take a piece of ribbon thread it through and then add it to my box but I'm going to add a little bit of um, I'm going to add a little bit of twine and jute just to the edge this is where my tool from will go whoever is going to get this basket and then I'm going to tie it, thread this underneath at an angle. Super cute, super cute. I love it. So, there we have it. I have all of my baskets complete. Here are the two here. And um, I hope we got, hopefully you guys will try this at home. The link for all of the recipe will be in the description box. So, um, hopefully you guys will try it out. Like the video if you like it and leave a comment and let me know if you have tried this or will try it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.